Hey everyone, Nick Dearbert is here teaching you financial modeling. Today I'm here to talk about me. Who am I and what is my background and story? So I am a PhD student here at UF, uh, focusing on finance, of course. Uh, more specifically, my main research areas are market intervention, uh, you know, what governments and other players are doing to intervene in markets, alternative assets such as cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and others, um, and behavioral finance, things like investor attention and sentiment and how they affect valuation. As far as this course, this is my third time teaching financial modeling, uh, and twice before I've also taught debt and money markets. Um, looking to my background, I have an undergraduate and a master's degree in finance from VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University. Um, and while I was in Richmond, um, I also, you know, took the time to get some work experience. I worked for a small bank. Uh, they had about one billion in assets, about 15 branches. And I worked there as the only commercial loan portfolio analyst. Um, and while I worked there, I was only there for a year, but I was able to save them four and a half million dollars. Another uh, notable accomplishment of mine is that uh, while I was at VCU, I competed in the CFA, Chartered Financial Analyst Equity Research Challenge. Uh, that's an investment research challenge uh, where you do an in-depth uh, analysis and model of a particular stock and you ultimately give a recommendation, buy, sell, or hold the stock, uh, as well as a report uh, and a presentation to go along with that. Um, and out of around 800 teams uh, around the world, you know, each one, one team per university, uh, our university's team ended up getting in the top 12 out of these 800 global teams. Uh, so that I was pretty happy about how that went. Um, and then um, another notable thing about me is that I'm a strong supporter and developer of open source software. So open source software is software that's not only free to use, but also uh, the source code, the, the code that creates that software, is also open, available, public, free to use. Um, and so I'm a strong supporter of that. I think it really um, helps us, you know, as, you know, a human collective, ultimately, um, you know, a society get closer to our goals uh, by having these things open and free and available. Uh, you can kind of stand on the shoulders of giants rather than having to reinvent the wheel yourself every time and so i develop a number of these packages uh, right now i have around 30 of them uh, as part of my research and also as part of this class so we'll talk about a couple of them uh, during this class and we'll get an opportunity to use them and i think you'll find that uh, some of the packages i've developed for this class are, are very useful for doing financial modeling in python for example, uh, I've created the fin statement package, which lets you easily load in financial statements into Python and work with them um, and makes the uh, modeling exercises all that much easier when you don't have to focus on some of that more boilerplate code. So that's, uh, and then day to day, I, um, you know, I'm working on research, working on the class. Um, I'm married, uh, and my wife and I love to be outdoors. We love to go camping and hiking, um, and um, I love working with my hands. I do all of the maintenance on my family's vehicles, and I have for uh, more than 10 years. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much a quick overview of me. Uh, so next time, we will look at an overview of the syllabus and the expectations in the course. So thanks for listening. See you next time.